This is not just a dispute about pay, it's about the attack on our terms and conditions as postal workers and in all honesty on our jobs. It's great to see you all out here and um, the support that you've given us on the picket line and everything has been immensely appreciated. If you can find a way to make it to the picket lines and make it even for five minutes or ten minutes or whatever time you have and to just show your support and your solidarity and your, you know, and together we can win this fight, you know. Yeah. It's one for one, well, one for all and all for one. In all of you. So, yeah. It's the thin veneer that's so insulting, as if we should be all grateful that they feel the need to lie at all. Decisions have been taken, still they are consulting their key stakeholders, the ones that fall between the quite unloved unlucky and the unfortunate but undeserving poor one. They'll play no real part in a big debate. Why do they have to be so much more motivated whilst they have not apparently need so much less? How can we get ourselves into this sort of state and can we trust the ones who promise to extract us from this mess? It seems to me to be one fundamental fatal flaw, a massive fault line in their master plan. They want it both ways. Want to get well in the good times and the bad. They want you with your head down, working for the man. They want to stop you spotting you've been had. What those who want for nothing? They want more. So now we've got them a clever knocking of the old school tie and they'll do very nicely, thank you, out of boom and bust. So ask yourself, what does this signify? Is it a nasty accident or a betrayal of trust? The fact is, this is something that we've seen before. This is a class act. That's what this is. This is war. In the middle of 2020, Royal Mail were expecting to lose £360 million. That was when Covid kicked in. At the end of Covid and the middle of last year, they announced a record £758 million profit. 
They give £567 million pounds of that to shareholders. And when we went in for a pay rise, they said they couldn't afford it. They're asking us to accept terms and conditions that are inferior to the current terms and conditions for new entrants. They want us to pull the ladder up on the next generation. And we ain't having it. This ain't about a pay rise. This is fighting for what we've got now. And our members have taken 12 days of strike action during a cost of living crisis leading up to Christmas. And I absolutely applaud every single member and rep within our union for standing up and not being bullied for what goes through. We will not end up on our knees. There's 500 years of heritage within the Royal Mail and we will not allow it to be the gig economy. Thank you.